Cyclone threat taking shape in the Bay of Bengal. An area of interest is looking much better this morning in the Bay of Bengal, east of uh, central and southern India. 99B is its designation and we expect it will become a tropical cyclone, possibly as soon as today. It is at 12.9 degrees north, 85.5 degrees east as of 8am IST, uh, 8.30am in Bangladesh this May 23rd. Current wind speeds at 35 miles per hour or near 55 kilometers per hour sustained with an estimated central pressure of 998 millibars. It's moving roughly east-northeast or 70 degrees at 15 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour. Here it is right now displayed on the map. No uh, wind field obviously because it doesn't contain the storm force winds yet but we expect that will change possibly radically later today. No warnings in effect either officially. It is 568 kilometers east of Chennai and moving away. 587 from Visakhapatnam, 771 from Puri, 779 from the Andaman Islands, and 1118 from Kolkata, which it could end up heading towards later on in the forecast. Of course, there is a fair amount of uncertainty as to exactly where the storm will land. It could be anywhere from Andhra Pradesh all the way through to the Ganges River Delta. So we're really uh, on our toes here trying to figure out where this storm is going to go. So damaging winds will be the primary hazard because we expect that rapid intensification will be likely with hurricane force wind impacts expected for large parts of the coast of eastern in India and Bangladesh. The storm is currently projected to peak with winds in excess of 100 miles per hour or 160 kilometers per hour sustained. So let's uh, dissect that forecast a little bit further then. This is what we're expecting over the next few days. It's going to be a short but rapid system here, uh, moving over over the weekend towards the coastline, becoming quite powerful and then making landfall somewhere south of Kolkata probably. Uh, but there is still a big uncertainty area around where the actual landfall will occur. Big question marks on that. We're more confident about the intensity than we would be about its actual track. Well, right now, 35 miles per hour is what we're giving it. The uh, India Meteorological Department still very low on that right now, not even 20 miles per hour. JTWC around there as well. We expect that they'll be bumping that up pretty soon because there are stronger winds in this, and with the amount of convection it's blowing up, I wouldn't be surprised to see storm force winds very soon, if not already contained within this potential cyclone. Uh, this is unofficial watches and warnings. Uh, what we expect will happen in the next 72 hours there. Hurricane conditions possible from Ramha to Rayenda, encompassing eastern India and western Bangladesh there, with a possible storm conditions further west. And these are the percentage chances that we've given at the moment for tropical storm force winds. Now the chances aren't sky high because of uncertainty still, but we're already seeing a few areas there getting close to 50%. As the cone narrows, we'll get a better idea as to where exactly you're going to get those really high percentages and those will change accordingly. Here's the GFS computer model then over the next seven days. We don't need to see the whole seven day period, but you can see there as soon as day two or three, it really starts to ramp up. And on the 26th, it's peaking there as a powerful category three storm with a pressure in, I think, the uh, upper 940s in millibars. Uh, so a powerful cyclone there depicted by this particular model. But other models also have a relatively strong cyclone, at least getting to hurricane equivalent status. And that is what we're warning for right now over the next few days uh, as the storm takes aim. That latest GFS run there uh, called for the storm to really turn left uh, quite sharply compared to previous runs. That's an interesting development there on that model, making landfall there close to Kuttak, I think, and then moving inland over eastern India rather than over towards Bangladesh, which is what our, uh, our forecast was hinting at. So these models will be flopping about quite a bit as we try and get towards a, uh, a closer knit agreement 
uh, but right now it is a very uncertain situation as to where the landfall will be. A fairly large storm as well during that uh, procession there and it could deliver very large amounts of rainfall, especially with the monsoonal pattern off to its east which is already underway and we're looking at very enormous amounts of rainfall for parts of southern Myanmar and possibly spilling over into Thailand. Some areas over there could be reaching 1000 millimeters from the cyclone itself at the moment depending on where it makes landfall but if it makes landfall further south there that scenario calling for 20 inches there or 500 millimeters and even if that happened the uh, Kolkata would still get close to 10 inches there or 250 millimeters. Wherever the storm makes landfall, it's going to be a massive rain and wind threat, but we've got that second bank of rain there on the eastern side, which will cause lots of potential flooding for Myanmar particularly. Sea surface temperatures has been well documented to be very high at the moment, particularly in the eastern part of the Bay of Bengal, where sea surface temperatures are in excess of 30 degrees Celsius or 86 Fahrenheit as depicted on this chart here. If anything, this chart lowballs the actual numbers and the sea surface temperatures in one or two spots could be approaching 33 degrees Celsius, which is a huge amount of energy for this potential storm. Well, it's certainly looking impressive on satellite imagery right now as we take a look at it. Uh, just about getting uh, imagery from daybreak there uh, from two of the satellites on either side of the uh, storm, really. Uh, really blowing up some significant amounts of convection. I noticed the IMD earlier um, posited that it was producing minus 93 degrees Celsius cloud tops. So it's not doing that at the moment, but it is a decent burst of uh, cloud tops there. Maybe it is towards that number actually. I couldn't quite tell on that imagery. This is the air mass imagery. If it has a center, it will be on the northern periphery of that big burst of convection there. Um, you can see just about possibly the lower level circulation there spiraling around on that northern side of it. So maybe it's a little bit wind sheared by right now, uh, but at the moment it is looking pretty good. Better than I would have expected by this point, and it could be something that rapidly develops really quickly over the course of today's daylight hours and we could see a tropical cyclone form and then some maybe cause for straight away rapid intensification. Something we're watch, gonna watch very closely. Uh, it is expected to make landfall possibly as early as Saturday, but definitely by the end of the weekend as we turn our attention here towards the Bay of Bengal.